Looks like it's heat treated turd of some kind, so I'm gonna pick that up. Yep, nice red heat treated turd. Uh, looks like probably a late archaic piece, but just a it's got that beveled edge. That's a hafted scraper for scraping uh, animal hides or wood. Might be a shed up here in front of me, about 30 yards, or it could just be a piece of grass. Uh, it's looking kind of like weeds. There's weeds over the left of it. I can't tell. No, it's a shed. Big eight point, it looks like. First shed of the year. Eh, he isn't that big. Big enough to see 30 yards away, though. Decent little eight. Be a decent one next year. March 3rd, it looks like I've got something in this uh, wash here in this little food plot. Let's see. Nice little stem point. I got one sticking out here. We'll see if it's whole. Looks like a great big river to maybe. That's exactly what it is. Nice terminal archaic uh, Marum Trimble cluster at Riverton Point. Looks like it's probably made of Bryansville chert. March 4th, uh, I'm hunting this little food plot that is going to get planted here in a week or two, but I got a nice big tip sticking up. Looks like Stanford chert. It's hard telling what it is, most likely late archaic because that's what's mainly on here. Um, but let's see if it's whole and see what I got. It feels big. Oh, nice. Ah, it's weird on that side. This side is just incredible. Big stem piece, uh, probably three and a half, pushing four inches. This side, uh, I don't know if they'll have to clean it up and see if they made it that way. It's really, really thin there. Looks like a chunk's been knocked out of it, but that's a nice big point and a good way to start this hunt. Looks like I got another big late archaic early wooden three, three and a half inch point laying here. Let's hope it's whole. It's in the very edge of the field here where it's turned right next to the woods uh, let's see it's looking good oh my that's a beaut that's a beaut not a bad little hunt Hey, Michelangelo, it's your lucky day. I'm going to help you out, little buddy. There you go. Now you can live. Looks like I found a shed today. Yep, boy, the rodents have already worked their magic on this. That's off a 10 point, but they've eaten that brow tine. That's a tall brow tine. That's probably seven inch brow tine, and they've eaten it down to a nubbin. It's not a real big 10, but in a couple years it will be. Wish I'd have gotten to this rack a couple days sooner before they did all that chewing on it. Okay, the moment of truth. Got a big old blunt here, but it looks like an ear has gone off of it. But let's see. Oh no, I think it's there. Oh, that's a dandy. Really nice big uh, blunt or hafted scraper. Fossiliferous chert, Harrodsburg. Look at that thing, that's a monster. Okay, this is uh, my March 4th food plot adventure. All I had was about two acres of food plots to hunt today. Some were tilled, some were plowed. We've had heavy rain. The rain was so heavy it actually hurt me, but uh, covered more up than it uncovered. But I got lucky and found a few things. Uh, Got this nice shed off a tin point, but the rodents beat me to it and took a few nibbles off of it. Found this uh, would have been a fantastic sell. Here's the pole of it. The bit's gone, but it's just uh, this type of material is not native around here. It was carried in the field, and you can there's enough of it there you can tell what it was. But it's just really well polished, and look how well defined this line is here. As a matter of fact, if this were whole, and I saw it for sale somewhere, I would think it was a fake. Um, because usually they're not that well made around here, but occasionally you do find one that is just really well made with like a crisp line on the edge of it like that. So this would have been a beautiful big set. 
Okay, the points I found. Here's a base off, uh, looks like maybe a middle woodland point or something out of heat treated fossiliferous. So the material is a little unusual for that time period. Uh, this looks like a little uh, raccoon notched arrow point. It's got one ear missing and the tip's boogered up, but I, it's just, it's thinner than most Rivertons. It's uh, like so thin I could probably just take it and snap it in between my fingers like that. It's not any thicker than a, a thin flake. Here's a, a heat treated fossiliferous uh, base off something probably late archaic. Here's a Merrim Trimble Riverton point out of some light colored chert. I haven't identified the chert type yet. Tip's gone. Here's a uh, looks like a late archaic stem point out of Harrodsburg chert. Actually I'm not sure of the chert. That might be Stanford. It's so dirty I can't tell. Here's a uh, would have been a fantastic drill. Really nice drill tip out of Wyandotte chert or Hornstone. Got a little knife kind of a little curved knife out of indian creek chert classic indian creek with that yellow yellow and tan color to it fabulous blood red little heat treated uh, marum trimble riverton cluster point looks like maybe just a smidgen of one ears off of it but that is still beauty it's going to go in a case and be displayed proudly that's a nice piece fabulous blunt or hafted scraper is what it actually is nice big broad point out of Harrodsburg chert. I'm trying to stay out of the shadows here, but the sun's at a tough angle. You can see that beveled edge that they scraped with. Um, that's just a, a dandy of a hafted scraper. That's the last thing I found today. And then the two uh, pretty much hole points. This is out of either Stanford or Indian Creek chert. They grade together. This is a hog. This is over a four inch point. It's got a little heat pop out of it right there. There's a little uh, quartz inclusion in it that's kind of glistening in the sunlight. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. And then the back end of it, has been heat popped. I couldn't see that earlier until the mud dried a little bit, but there's a classic pock marks in there, so a big chunk, looks like three separate chunks, maybe blew off of it in the fire, but it's been heat popped on the front and back, but most of it survived, and even heat popped, that is just a, just a fabulous piece. And then this nice little side notch piece out of uh, Harrodsburg chert as well, Fossiliferous, that's what outcrops the most right around here, so that's what I expect to find the most of on these sites, but it's a, it's about a, a little over a three inch point and uh, it's just a, it's a dandy too. So for only having about two, I mean, it's just a beautiful day. It's nice and warm. You could hear the, uh, the frogs starting to make noises and stuff. Spring's almost here. And for walking just about two acres of food plots, some of it not worked up very well. I think I had an excellent day and I certainly enjoyed myself and I saved a couple of these from being broken the next time they go through until when they plant the food plots. So just a, a really good day.